I was so angry. And I still had to finish my shift before I could leave. What I really wanted to do was take a drink and then use, because I don't numb it. Nothing has to happen to trigger me to want to use drugs. It can be as simple as I just wake up with the feeling, or you might make me angry. I'll just be driving, and I don't know where that thought came from. I wasn't looking at anything or hearing anything. Craving grows as we use more meth. Here's how it works. As we've seen, meth releases a lot of dopamine, creating intense pleasure. Our brains automatically connect the people, places, and things around us with the pleasure of the high. These become our triggers. Triggers generally fall into two categories, external and internal. External triggers are the people, places, and things that we associate with our use. Internal triggers are intense emotions such as anger, hurt, desire, or fear that cause us to want to use. When we think about or come into contact with these triggers, our brains release dopamine, causing us to crave. I think in the beginning you associate everything with meth. I mean, you really do. The music, you know, places. Dollar bills, CD cases, because I used to use CD cases to crush up. My drugs on. Be driving through neighborhoods where I scored drugs. Well, for me, it's uh, the streets. I have grown so accustomed to the streets and the lifestyle on the streets since a uh, younger age, you know, and I always thinking that I'm missing out something when I'm not out there. We know that a very potent external trigger is a certain freeway exit a certain part of town because you went there so many times to get the drug and use the drug. And now in recovery, sometimes you drive by and it feels like the car wants to drive off by itself or you want to get off at that bus stop. You, don't, you may not even have a reason to be there, but it's the lower brain, once again, that's trying to take you back to the circumstances where you're likely to relapse and fall because the lower brain likes being in the driver's seat. Usually I think about meth when I'm having a lot of problems with either my significant other or my parents. Relationships in general are very hard. Triggers with my mom um, run deep, run very deep. Um, she has my first son. It will trigger, it'll trigger me to get very emotional where I want to blame. I want to lash out, I want to just do anything but be in that moment with her. And as far as the emotional triggers go, the most important thing is to know which emotions are the most potent for you. If you know that getting angry is one of your real trigger emotion, you try to recognize the emotion and then do something else. Why give your lower brain an excuse to kind of take you back to using? Why put yourself in that situation where you might even be triggered, period? In recovery, you gotta know what your trigger traps are and what you're weak for. I know what I'm weak for. Drugs and women. I'm weak for that. I, I can't, you know, I don't date girls who do drugs or even drink, we, we can't go out. Part of going to treatment is identifying what your triggers are and then having a plan for avoiding the external triggers to the best of your ability, and with the emotional triggers to recognize the internal triggers so that we can take a different kind of action other than to use drugs. It works like this. First, we get triggered, which leads to a thought about using, which can turn into craving and drive us to use. We have to stop this trigger thought craving process right after the thought before it becomes a craving and gets out of control. In treatment, we learn tools to accomplish this. I know I don't have an appointment, but it was either come here or go to a bar. Come on back. So you found out that you don't make what you deserve. They won't even talk to you about it. And the anger triggers you to want to think about using it again. This sequence of events trigger thought craving occurs in different parts of the brain. When we come into contact with a trigger, it leads to a thought about using. And as this thought continues, craving sets in. If we stay in the situation or move toward the drug, the craving gets stronger. 
At some point, the craving takes control and we do whatever it takes to get more meth.